this into a Damascus uh, print. So jump on over to the computer really quick with me. Hey guys, so just over here from the machine, I have an SVG and a PNG of the Damascus steel loaded up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the machine. All right, let's take our picture. I've already done the autofocus. All right, so here we go. Here's our knife. Now, real quick, if you want to do a trace, um, there's one one of two ways. You can just come in here, drag it along, click, and then what I actually like to do instead of playing around too much in here, is you can do this initial line. Um, but for here to do adjust this one, I'm just going to come down here and click. I'm going to click done. I'm going to edit node and I'm going to come down here and make sure our endpoints kind of match up here. So we're going to put that there. Okay. So now we have those lined up. Down here at this end, I'm going to add another node right here. Um, and I'm going to turn this one into a right angle, sharp corner. Um, here we go ahead and adjust this guy a little bit. Oops, didn't mean to add one. Just click and drag that one so we can come about right here. I'll add another node so that way we can adjust this guy so it's perfect. All right, now I kind of like to go on the center of my arc. So this is my arc right here. I like to come to the center of it, come over here and drag an endpoint out. Um, now you can click drag this up and down we're going to drag it to right there that follows the line the best I'm going to come down here kind of bow it out a little bit so click in here on the middle of that arc bring it just in um, that's a pretty good outline of our knife um, I'm going to call that finished now in order to do our SVG here let me go ahead and rotate this I'm um, going to go ahead and make, just make a copy off to the side. Alright. So I'm going to scale this down so that we can have a tighter pattern. Um, like, uh, we had a question over in the Facebook. So we could go ahead and we can make a mask. Create a mask, right? That's what we want to do. Um, but we want to do this with a... Uh, SVG instead. So let me go ahead and make a copy of that CV. Um, so we're going to make that over here on the SVG. Uh, like I said, here I'm going to go ahead and just real quick play this around. You can move this. That's the nice thing about an SVG or a PNG is you can kind of go around and just do that. Um, create the mask. Um, there you go. So now you got a cool mask of the PNG but when you go to do settings you're over here stuck with dot uh, duration and DPI um, in order to do an SVG we're gonna come over here we're just going to drag this guy randomly so that way we kind of get the coolest effect all right now you select and highlight them both and we're going to come in here to, let's see, I want to say subtract, oh, it's the wrong one, unite that overlap, there we go. So, I do that sometimes too guys, so don't feel bad. So unite that overlap, um, that's going to take everything on the inside of our vector and delete everything on the outside. Um, now, like if you were going to go ahead and do, say, a knife uh, insert into some foam, you would want to do the subtract so that way you get this cut out on the inside. You're machining all your foam. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go back, come here to unite at overlap. Now we just have our knife. Bring this down here. So when you're doing your knife with the SVG, We've actually got the, the nice ability to set our power and our speed like normal. I'm going to go ahead and set, set this to 25 millimeters a second. Um, I'm going to up this to 
on 240, we'll say 260 lines. Just going to try to get a real nice, deep, dark engraving the first time here. Um, so we're going to copy this guy. Just going to bring this up to the knife. Since I rotated it here, I'm going to take this outline, get this out of here. All right. We don't need that outline anymore. Uh, I need to rotate it just just a little. We're, that's the bad thing about rotating your your artwork um, when you go to do the design. It's a little harder to line up. So we're gonna do this manually with the numbers up here. You can also adjust your angle up here in this box. I like to do negative one degree at a time and then we do a negative two um, we're getting closer as you can see down here in the bottom we're kinda too much of a rotation so we're gonna do a positive point half a degree and we're gonna line that up see that's a little bit better um, I can call that actually call that good I'm happy with that we can really go quarter of a degree if you really want to point two five click enter um, that actually gave us really nice coverage um, so we're going to call that a go and I'm going to press start on the machine process there we go process calculating it's going to take a while 26 minutes I just want to get a really nice deep engrave or, or dark engraving on here you could do it a little bit faster um, let's see how we're going to process here we're actually processing everything at the same time. Actually, let me come back over here. Maybe we can speed this up. So, let me see. We're processing. Let's see. User defining. We're going to do smart. Let's see what this guy does now. Uh, 26 minutes to 11 minutes. That's a lot better. All right. I was going to say, that's going to take forever. All right. So we're going to go ahead and process each of these vectors individually. It's going to get a nice, uh, actually a nice engrave. Um, I could actually increase this speed up to, we'll increase it to 35 or 40. That should give us even faster processing time. Alright guys, we've gone over to the computer. I've shown you guys how to do the SVG and the PNG with the Damascus. So we are all over here. We're ready to go. We're going to press start and I'm going to do a time lapse on the machine. Bear with me.